we focused with a woman on a phone one day she wasn't really having much of us and we couldn't find a way for her to hear us she was just complaining about where she was and wanting us to tell her how to exactly get rid of all of that trouble and get to where she wanted to be and our story was too long for her she wasn't ready to be ready to be ready to be ready what she really wanted was a fortune teller to tell her what she wanted to hear so we weren't the right fit for her and so we said well let's change the subject for a little bit let's talk about something else like what she said let's talk about blue glass why why would anybody want to talk about blue glass well we wanted to distract her from what she was talking about it's almost like a form of meditation if you can focus or get someone to focus upon something that they don't have a lot of negative emotion all balled up around it can be a resistance leveling or lowering experience so we talked about blue glass for a little while it didn't lower her resistance it just made her annoyed with us and so then we said well let's talk about butterflies she didn't like that much either we spent about a minute on each subject and then we said let's talk about feathers she didn't really want to talk about that either and then she hung up in complete dissatisfaction because she was not ready to be ready to be ready. And then Jerry and Esther, they were in La Jolla in California. They went to lunch. And as they got out of the car, Esther feels this very strong impulse to go in this store right now. Well, they were on their way to a restaurant down the street, but Esther wanted this first. Come with me, please. Please, please, come with me, please. Which was not an uncommon conversation that they would have. <laughs> So she dragged him into the shop and they went in and in and in and in and in at the far back of the shop in a room off into itself there was a wall of blue glass ceiling to floor wall to wall shelf after shelf of every kind every texture some of it you could see right through some of it was solid like a rock Esther did not make any association with the conversation that had happened and Jerry hadn't heard it and so he made no association then they went off to lunch and it didn't take them long to eat and then they walked down to the cove which is the place where the water and the sea come together it's a beautiful place there are rocks spread out there and right before the rocks there is a big park a lawn and as they were walking across this lawn a flurry of butterflies it was so intense they had to stop talking which they hardly ever did in order to not eat butterflies there were so many butterflies Esther is still not making any association Jerry just thought it was funny and then they made their way through the butterflies and a little boy is running across the lawn from way off in the distance and Jerry said he looks like he's coming to you do you know him and Esther said no really little boy and when he got there he had a feather he had an Esther a feather and then Esther remembered and this is our way of in a very rudimentary fashion of explaining to you how many things that are in your vortex that are active in your vortex can assemble in a now moment and the more of what's in your vortex assembles or manifests in a moment then the more satisfying the moment is